Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series action figure review. We're doing Bad Batch this week. We're doing their mercenary gear from Season 2 of The Bad Batch on Disney+. Plus. Um, and hang around, because I'm going to do a comparison with the with the Phase 1, the Season 1 counterparts throughout these, um, these batch of reviews. Um, Omega not yet out here, um, so we're going to be hanging out a little bit for Omega. But for the four main crew of The Bad Batch, uh, minus Crosshair... We're going to be taking a look at these. Obviously, we're going to start with the leader, Hunter. And, uh, yeah, uh, the box isn't that nice. I, I think the photo that they've used on there doesn't do the figure justice. It is far much better in person. The artwork on the side is nice, so I do appreciate that. Page number 15 in the Bad Batch line. It says, Hunter, leader of the Bad Batch, is a strong and stoic soldier with extraordinarily keen senses that give him an edge while tracking down his targets. Hence the name Hunter. He comes in at 15.2 centimeters or 6 inches. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the packaging. So let's get on with the figure. So we've got him right here, all ready to go. He's all armored up. He's all, um, all guns and blazing, ready to go. He does come with his backpack, which I'm pretty sure is the same. We'll get on to have a look at the comparison shortly. So yeah, it does come with the backpack, which I think with the previous version I did glue on. Just this one seems to fit nicely. Uh, that's not going to fall out. The other one seemed to have fallen out a little bit. Uh, for the most part, this figure's had some great retooling. Uh, so obviously some reused parts throughout that sort of space between season one and two they did just sort of change their armor up a little bit which is really cool we'll take a look um obviously a few more splashes of color here like the oranges the grays the sort of browns even those sort of teal accents up there on the uh on the shoulder bells of the armor really nice new sort of basic trousers sort of underneath underneath his armor this time dual holsters which is awesome so hunter's gone and swapped out for dual pistols which is fantastic now i did go through on my recent video of r troop fives because again this this figure comes with dual blasters but he comes with one trigger finger on the left hand sorry right hand so the left i did have to just put in that slight incision in between the figures just with an exacto knife, just so I can get that trigger pose happening as it should, which is cool. One thing I really liked about Hunter's design from season two was the uh, the sort of shawl wrap that he has. It's almost a little bit more, I don't know, with the flashes of orange, it sort of speaks to, you know, getting closer to the sort of Rebel Alliance, you know, not necessarily being part of the Rebel Alliance, but you know, just that visual cue of them, you know, rebelling against the empire that they, uh, you know, effectively used to serve. See, like I said, accessories. Backpack is removable. It does come with the two pistols, which do holster nicely. They're actually quite, quite a nice snug fit in there, which is really good. They're not, they're not falling out at all. That's really good. Um, this time they've given him, they've given him a knife again, but they've, uh, shrunken down the sheath a little bit it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing the first one was quite a big you know quite a big box on the arm and uh yeah the the blade i feel is a is a little bit thinner as well so they've worked on that so that definitely looks a little bit nicer in my opinion on this on this version too but yeah throughout the armor obviously I've seen a little bit more battle Change the colours up. We've got some nicks and dents throughout. I do love the uh, addition of like the wraps around the arms. I think that looks great. You can see there the existing clone armour pieces. Not the full upper thigh leg wraps from the armour. Before, these are simple just plates, whether he's sort of cut them off the existing armor. It looks like he may have done that. Still rocking the same knee pads and shin guard on that leg. Same boots. 
But yeah, really nicely retooled. I wasn't, you know, when they announced the second the wave of the second lot of the Bad Batch, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to. Um, I just sort of thought, are they going to be any different? You know, they look quite different in the show, but it has probably going to take some shortcuts. And um, yeah, as for, as for particular Hunter Hunter right here, they've they've done a great retool, and uh, he's come out looking really nice. And I feel like the head sculpt has also had a nice upgrade. Get a little bit more light behind the camera here. That'd be awesome. So he doesn't have that sort of sweaty look that the first release had. It looks, you know, really good. Still a little bit of shine where his sort of face tattoo is on the side there. But yeah, it looks so much better. And just to show you what I mean, we'll start with the comparison. Now I'm pretty sure it's the same head sculpt, like it looks looks to be the same head sculpt, just the paint application is a little better. Yeah, it seems to be the same head sculpt. Just yeah, the paint application is a is an improvement. So they go side to side, you can sort of see the differences in the outfit. Obviously the, the torso armor there is the same. The shoulders have changed, the forearms obviously different. Completely retooled the the, the sort of lower torso there. So you can sort of see the differences between the two. Trying to get away from the, the look of the Republic Bad Batch. They all sort of covered up their Clone Force 99 symbols on their armor. And Hunter's gone as far out as just getting new shoulder shoulder bell pulled, uh, shoulder bells on his arms, shoulder armor. It's going to look for a little bit of a, as the uh, as they state with the packaging, mercenary look. So the backpack is the same. Slightly different paint scheme. As previously, he had no holsters, as he did come with this blaster. Now he's uh, swapped out for the pistols, which is cool. So I love the fact that these two are different enough. They've definitely uh, justified the purchase for me. Still has the skull emblem there on his headband. But yeah, I was watching uh, Sci-Fi's review of these the other night. And I thought, yeah, you know what? I'm going to jump on these. I, I was planning to, like at that point. But just sort of seeing them in hand through his video. Because I, I haven't watched any other reviews of these. I thought, you know what? I'm going to go grab them. Take a look at the difference in deco on the helmets same sculpt you can still see the uh, the two scratches along the nose there but yeah the the paint paint change is nice even looks like some of that white paint from the first helmet has you know as he sort of covered it up it's worn away and it sort of exposed some of that white again Yeah, it's definitely seen some uh, seen some action, but uh, yeah, I love the uh, love the sort of orange flashes over the armor. Articulation's great all throughout. I'm trying to see whether he does have those sort of butterfly joints. It is obviously, but it's hindered by the armor here. But you can still get the arms like pretty straightforward. Which is nice. Does have that sort of double double neck joint in the bottom of the head and the bottom of the neck. Hinges at the shoulders. Hinges at the elbows, which get a nice, nice angle. Uh, wrists. This one is up and down. This one is in and out, as well as a swivel. Let's have the torso joint there, which allows for some good movement. 
ball hinges at the hips, swivels at the thighs, nice joints at the knees, which will bend up, but um, yeah, these sort of little armor pieces on the back of his legs sort of do hinder that a little bit. Get him to flex out a little bit, that's not too bad. And then, uh, yeah, ball hinge in the ankles and rockers on the feet. So, yeah, good articulation on Hunter. Not unlike his predecessor, but, um, yeah, still really nice one. Really stoked for this one. Really enjoyed the second season. Don't know if I'm look, yeah, looking forward to the third. We're going to start to get a little bit heavier. I don't know if the second season was as rich as the first, in my opinion, but um, I still enjoyed it. It was a good ride. Should probably do a rewatch at some point. But yeah, thanks very much for watching, everyone. I do appreciate your time. Please send out in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, Wrecker is up next. So he will drop in about 24 hours from this one dropping, so... And then we'll have Echo and Tech after that. So I hope you can stick around and enjoy Bad Batch Week with me. Till the next one. May the Force be with you always.